Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a one-way data table using this direct mail model. And first I want to describe how this model works. Uh, we are basically using a profit model. Uh, we have a input section, a calculated section, and an output section. All right, and according to our inputs, uh, we're going to uh, have a fixed cost of $10,000 it's going to cost per mailing 25 cents. We anticipate sending out 100,000 mailers and the return will be $40 on average uh, per order with a variable cost on average of $28.50 and we expect a response rate of 4%. Alright, so plugging some of these inputs into the calculated section 4% uh, of 100,000 is 4,000 so that's the formula there. Uh, the 4,000 times $40 is 160,000 in revenue. Okay, then we have the fixed cost. We have a variable cost of the mailing and a variable cost of orders. Okay, all of that equates to $11,000 in profit if the base case is what happens. All right, we expect that uh, it probably isn't what's going to happen. So we're going to perform some sensitivity analysis and uh, at the most basic level sensitivity analysis is is what will happen to profit uh, under changing conditions okay and so that's what we're going to use the data table for all right so what i'm going to do is look at what happens to profit if the response rate changes all right so i'm going to start over here and my response rate is going to start at one percent and I'm going to vary it by increments of 1% up to 8%. Okay. Next, I'm going to connect the data table to the spreadsheet model. I'm going to do that by putting the simple formula in this cell that references the output. Okay. So what we're doing with the data table is we're going to vary a single input variable to see the impact on an output variable. Next, I'm going to select the entire table. I'm going to go to the data tab. I'm going to click what if analysis and then select data table. We get the data table dialog box. It has two possible inputs. Okay, since I have arranged my input variable in a column, I'm going to click the column input cell and then I'm going to go to the model and find the input that I'm varying which in this case is response rate. Click OK and the data table is complete. So what we have here is what net profit or profit will be under varying response rates. Okay so there's the 4% response rate with a profit of 11,000. If response rate is 3,000, we're going to lose just a little bit of money. Uh, if it's somewhat higher at 5%, we're going to obviously make more money. Okay, we can also see from this data table that the break even is somewhere just over 3%. Okay, and that is a one-way data table.